Hi, this is Trisha again from Product Labs, and this is session number seven, Draft and Variable Pull Draft. What is draft angle, and why do we need to create draft in the parts? These are some of the questions we need to answer before we get into the detailed session. We can summarize draft as a taper angle added into plastic or casting parts for easy ejection from mold. Angle theta shown in this picture is the draft angle. Draft angle varies depending upon size and texture finish requirement of the part. So session seven on draft and variable pull draft next in the series. First, we'll learn to draft multiple surfaces simultaneously. We'll be using displayed part for the draft creation. Let us click on the button labeled as Draft in the top menu bar and select the option Draft from drop-down menu. These are the surfaces we will be drafting. So select them one by one. Now, click on References tab. Here you can see that draft hinges and pull direction are yet to be defined. To define the draft hinge, click inside draft hinge box and select the surface that will act as hinge. Here, we'll select this surface as hinge. Once draft hinge is selected, a default pull direction also appears and it can be altered by clicking on this arrow. Now we can adjust the draft angle here. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen and click on OK button. Now we'll delete this draft feature to create another one. To do this, select the draft feature in the model tree and right click and then select delete option in the pop-up menu. Now, we'll learn to draft single surface. Now, once again, select draft option from top menu bar and select the surface to be drafted. Now, click on references tab to define hinge plane. Click the text inside the draft hinge box to a hinge plane. Now select the hinge plane. Enter the draft angle value and click on OK button. Once again, delete this draft feature. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into the screen. Now we'll learn to create variable pull direction draft. Click on the option variable pull direction draft from the drop down menu in draft button. We'll select top surface as a pull direction reference surface. You can notice that the selected pull direction surface is appearing inside the selection box. Now we have to define draft hinges. To define hinge, click here inside draft hinges box and select this edge as an hinge. Please take note that we are not selecting any surface here for draft. Instead, selection of draft hinge automatically detects the surface to be drafted. After defining hinge, we can change the draft angle from here. Similarly, we can draft on other surfaces as well by adding sets and hinge. Since all the drafts are having different hinge edge and draft angle, therefore we need to define them in different sets. For next surface, we have to again create a set and then define hinge.
In the same manner, we can draft on other surfaces. Since it's a variable draft controlled by different sets, we can edit each draft separately. Now, right-click in the graphics area and select Edit option from pop-up menu. You can notice that all the draft angles are editable individually. After changing the angle here, Click on the button on the top to rebuild the model to implement the changes. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model. This completes the variable pull direction draft operation. Now we'll delete variable pull direction draft feature form model tree and proceed for next featuring learning. Now We'll learn to create split draft, which means drafting a surface in two different direction. For this, click on the draft button once again. Now switch on the planes. Now select the surfaces which need to have split draft. For multiple surface selection, keep the control key pressed. Click inside draft hinge box to define hinge plane. Select top plane as hinge plane. Now click on the tab split. Here we get options to define split. We'll choose the option split by draft hinge in the drop-down menu. Now you can see that we are able to define the draft angle for both sides and surface is splitted into two about the hinge plane. Input the draft angle values for both the directions. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model. Click on the preview button to have a preview before pressing on OK. Now press OK to complete this. You can see different views of the model to check the drafted surfaces. Press Ctrl plus D and save the model. This ends the session on draft. Thank you. So that's the end of this session. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.